hello children welcome once again to our online class today i am going to start with a new lesson but before i start here i'll show you a small activity okay on the screen what do you see there is a picture of small baby then a child then a little older child then an adult and then an older adult or a old person you can say you know when you were born you are also like a small baby like the picture which is shown okay you grow up and still you are growing after few years you become an adult right so similarly all the human beings they grow and they go through all the stages of growing okay this is these are all the stages of life okay they grow they are born they grow they become adult they become they grow old and ultimately they die okay same way other animals also do uh, the same thing okay they are born they grow okay and then they ultimately die right so this is this is called the life cycle this is this particularly is a life cycle of a human right now here the words are given we will match these words correctly with the picture okay so here is a baby you see then is the child then a stage comes adolescent then is the adult and this is the older adult right so this way the human human being they grow stage wise and this forms their life cycle right similarly other animals also they produce the young ones and they grow okay have you seen a bird hatching from a egg see here the birds are seen hatching from a egg see some other animals they give birth to their young ones okay here is the calf of an of a cow right here there are so many puppies of a dog okay here is a colt of a horse right so what i mean to say that all the animals they produce their young ones they produce their young ones why so that the life can continue on the earth and this is called a reproduction this is called reproduction they reproduce means they produce the young ones okay now animals they produce they produce their young ones in two ways either they are uh, produce the young uh, young babies or they lay the eggs they produce with the help of eggs okay so today our topic of the lesson is reproduction in animals okay so this is the chapter 9 reproduction in animals today we will do the part 1 here there are the contents of this lesson why do animals reproduce animals that give birth to babies animals that lay eggs and other egg laying animals we are going to discuss all this in other parts all the parts right so today we will do why do animals reproduce so as i told that all living things they grow they are born they grow they become old and then ultimately they die okay and this form their life cycle so different animals has got different life cycle there are the stages of growing of their development okay and they produce the young ones either by laying eggs or they produce the young ones by giving birth to their yeah their babies okay so that life on the earth can continue so this is the reproduction reproduction means they reproduce the young ones their babies so that the life can continue on earth right see here as i told you animals they reproduce in a different ways okay some animals they give birth to their young ones like the animals like lion tiger cow horse goat dog okay they all give birth to their 
young ones. Okay, while some animals also give birth by laying eggs. Their eggs are laid then when they become mature, when the baby inside the egg becomes mature, it comes out of the egg. That is, they hatch out of the egg. Okay, see here, the eggs of bird are shown. If you have seen any nest of a bird, you, you can see many eggs lying on the, lying in the nest. Okay, so now we will talk about the animals that give birth to the babies. As I told you, the animals like lion, tigers, dog, cat, even humans, they all reproduce by giving birth to their young ones. Okay, and thus baby is formed inside the baby, inside the body of the mother. And the baby comes out of the body of the mother after staying in the in the body of the mother for some weeks or sometimes some months. Okay, it is the, the this period is different for the different animals. And when the baby is born, it is very small. Okay, like you are also very small, you, you can't do any work on your own. Okay, your mother has to take care of you. Right, same way here also the animals take care of their young ones. And they also feed their young ones with their milk. Okay, so the animals, the, those uh, the, who feed their young ones with their milk are known as mammals. Okay, so when the bo babies are born, they are weak, they are helpless, they are to be taken care of. They can't even walk. You know, even the baby of a lion. Okay, you, you may think that lion is a very... Uh, strong animal but it's a it's baby when it is born it is not that strong okay similarly of all the all the babies when they are born they are not very strong they are to be they are to be fed okay and then they grow strong and then they can do all the activities okay so the mother has to take care of them and protect them till they can look after themselves okay so these animals who give birth to their babies and feed them with their own milk. Such animals are called mammals. They are called mammals. You can see in the picture, the lioness is with its cub, the sheep is with the lamb and the colt is with the man. Okay, so these animals who give birth to their babies, they take care by feeding them their milk and they look after the young ones and so, these animals are called mammals, right? Now, there are also other animals that reproduce by laying eggs. Means, the babies are formed inside the egg and when they become mature, they hatch out of the eggs. These animals are like birds, snakes, frogs, okay, fish. They all, crocodile, they all reproduce by laying the eggs, right? See, now here is a small activity again. In this, you have to take the animals which give birth to the young ones and you have to cross the animals that, that reproduce by laying eggs. So, here we go. See, first one is a tortoise. Another is elephant. Then is an insect, that is grasshopper, then is a cow, then is a fish, then is a bird, then is a monkey and here it is a tiger. So, now we know which animals can reproduce by giving birth to their young ones while which lay eggs. Okay, so first I will tick mark to the animals that give birth to their young ones. Like it is an elephant, right? Then a cow. Right? A monkey. Ah, and here is a tiger that also gave birth to its babies. Right? Then, see here, I'll show you. Here, these are the, these are the animals which give birth to their young ones. Now, uh, other animals which lay eggs are tortoise. 
glass of water, bird and fish. I have marked them cross. These animals, they reproduce by laying the eggs. Here, again I will show you. See here. Right? So, the animals that are marked cross, they reproduce by laying eggs. While the animals that are ticked, right, they are, they produce by giving, they reproduce by giving birth to their young. So, now you will remember that some animals, they give birth to their young ones, while some reproduce with the help of laying eggs, right? Hope you have understood until now. Next part, we will study more about the animals that lay eggs in the second part. Till then, take care and thank you.